Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, if you're new, <laughs> welcome to my family. Guys, I really, really appreciate you new, old, A1 day ones. I love yous all. Now, I missed out on that live a while ago, but I'm back. So, let's see what's going on and get some overall energy. Remember to put yourself where you belong. I could be saying he, it could be she, I could be saying they, it could be you. So use your discernment, guys, and put yourself where you belong. I love you. Let's check what's going on. So grab your tea, grab your treat, grab your drink, do whatever you need to do to get comfortable because Tash is going to spill the tea. Straight, no chaser, no sugarcoating bullshit, no makeup. It is what it is. It's straight me. Mm. I got some iced tea. <laughs> Hermit in reverse, okay? That's at the bottom of the deck. Let's see what's going on. Spirit, show me an overall energy for my beautiful collective. The Empress in the upright, and there's one over here. And the Emperor in the reverse. Now, this morning's reading with music. I know a lot of people don't like the music, so I figured I'd put on another one with no music. But this morning's reading with the music was the emperor and the empress in the upright, both of them. Now, this is the opposite, okay? So, it's the sun and the upright. So, somebody sees you as joy, and it's somebody who is very controlling, very abusive. This doesn't have to be a divine partner, but it looks like it. It could be a boss, a father figure, a mentor. It could be a female. Remember, flip the rules as they need to be flipped okay put yourself where you belong you know your story best but there is a female energy a fe fe a f oh my god a feminine energy who is very attractive and this attraction is coming from within there's a lot of protection here and there's also a very judgmental or very greedy somebody feels like they have control over you Okay, like you're a possession of some sorts, like they have reign over you. Or it could mean that your masculine internally is overmasculated. Okay, so you're driven too much and you're over emotional. So you need to balance out your energies. Always take it as it resonates. I read for a lot of people. This is the overall energy, okay? Empress in the upright, emperor in reverse, and the sun in the upright. So there's definitely a lot of illumination happening right now. To two people. And then there's a king of pentacles here. This isn't shouldn't be out, but it is. So I guess I'm going to use this deck. All right, so. The king of pentacles is in reverse. That's clarification. There's somebody who is a wanted all boss or who will do anything for money and doesn't have anything for themselves. So will do anything, like literally anything. And is trying to self-sabotage or, well, is trying to put some kind of blockage in the way so that somebody doesn't see how beautiful and how how bright, how self-sufficient um, somebody is and they won't be expressive toward the person they will still they will stay um in this abuse of power and stubbornness well that was a lot in um a couple cards okay spirit guide ancestors oracles of the highest white light i call you thin and ask for a clear precise channel message for my beautiful collective, what are we tapping into? Anything other than the highest white light, I close that door now. And as I say, anything other than the highest white light, I close that door now. Now, this devil flew on my table in the reverse, but it flew on my floor and came up in the upright. So what's going on here is the fact that you have let go of any kind of toxicities, any devil-like energies. You have really conquered your own inner demon, so you're not willing to let play with anybody else's but you have to understand and put yourself in another person's foot as to why they're acting this way they clearly don't know how to process properly so this is what they do okay but it's not your responsibility your only responsibility is to lie with you okay to fix you the only way we're going to fix the world is by one individual at a time meaning internally that's it. We can't change nobody. We have no control over anybody but ourselves. Okay? 
the devil in reverse. There's a lot of imbalance. Somebody needs to balance something out, and it's the magician. Wow. Somebody is doing some nasty ass dark work, and they think that you're not gonna fucking see it. They think that Tash is not gonna fucking say anything. Like the first two cards that come on the deck, like, are you fucking kidding me? Well, guess what? There's some kind of energy that can't get to you because of how powerful you are, but they're gonna connect gonna continuously keep trying because they see your beauty they really see your beauty it's an emperor in reverse like i said at the beginning with the download okay somebody feels like they uh own you like you're a possession or some shit Father figure, mentor, baby daddy, who knows what the fuck this is. It could be a female, remember that, okay, who was overmasculated. Anyways, this emperor is flippy floppy over my fucking table because they don't want you to know. They want you to think that they're in the upright, that they're a good person, or that, you know. But in the dark, they're trying to hold on to an empress in the upright who clearly doesn't want to have anything to do with them because of the lower vibrational devil-like energies that they hold. That's the sun. That's what's being lightened. That's what's being seen. This is what God wants everybody to know. That this is why somebody is doing this. It's because they're stuck in this fucking toxic energy. And they want somebody else to be just as binded with them. So they're trying to do it with magic. But they can't. Let's see what else is going on here, okay? Because, like, let's see, all right? Because you let go of your demons. You're, you have full control over yourself. You're the fucking star. You have full control over yourself. You're the fucking healer. So you really think you're going to allow others to fucking come here and just, like, trample on your your happiness on what you have you know you're fertile you're really planting seeds watching it grow you're not worried about if the motherfucker next door's grass is green because you're we're, you're busy fertilizing your grass with the knowledge and it's allowing you to have freedom to dance with joy even if you don't have a lot of people around you you're still content with who you are and you are open receptive you're fucking have hope and hope can't be broken even if this devil wants to come in it's irrelevant somebody sees you as wish fulfillment they see you as the fucking star they see you as the healer and that's why because you walked away because of the slower vibrational energies they feel like they have some kind of control over you like you are a possession or um, something like this it's a lot of manipulation that this uh, emperor in reverse is trying to do to a star and they're not even single self-sufficient. They're not independent. It's this devil, yo. They're going to continuously keep trying to fucking do this darker magic because of this codependency, this obsession, this addictions. There's nothing you can do about it. All you can do is do you. Wish them well. We're not like them. But you get to see it. You get to swerve and wonder why there's so, so many blockages in the way. It's because somebody is really lacking independence. And they're really trying. They're reckless. They're ruthless. In the worst kind of ways. Now me, I'm savage. I told a motherfucker and I own that shit. Because I am. I don't mind. I own everything I've done. This person doesn't know how to hold accountability for anything. But they'll do it. It's the injustice. That's where the injustice is somebody's magic is backfiring they're getting caught in the red tape and they're having to go through um they're trying to avoid this karma that's going on you know by putting you back in this cycle but it's not working because you're the fucking star you're the healer you have renewed with this rejuvenation that you went through you're really untouchable so this person is just inevitably trying to delay this injustice there's a lot of karmic retribution that needs to go on right now. And somebody is like recklessly spending. Like they're not really seeing the bigger picture. They're being very materialistic because of some kind of burden that they feel on their heart. 
because they can't control something or somebody. The star. They're not getting this wish fulfillment with the star because they were over controlling. They weren't a, they weren't honest. They went with this devil energy instead of being grateful or fucking now somebody's the knight of cups. Now there's a fish in that fucking cup, so be careful, okay? It could be spirit coming in, giving them a little nudge, you know, to apologize or somebody to meet you, you know, but it could also mean it's a fishy offer because you have a king, queen of pentacles in reverse. So this is another one at all boss, kind of do anything for money, you know? They will literally throw you under the bus no matter who you are, what you are, it doesn't matter. They fucking disrespect their own motherfucking kids. Like, it's not a good person, okay? And I don't know, we got to go through these experiences, but... Somebody wants to come in with some kind of apology. It's because this emperor in reverse went towards somebody who didn't even have anything to stand on for themselves. They might have said they had a lot of things, but at the end of the day, they did it another being very burdened with the Ten of Wands. Okay, they feel like all this weight of the world is on them because they did some kind of injustice with this Queen of Pentacles in reverse, and now they're stuck. Having nothing, no independence with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Like I said, they're not single, they're not self-sufficient, they're stuck in a binded energy with uh, the devil, some kind of codependent energy. I, I Obsessed with you, the Empress in the upright, while they're sitting here in the Emperor in reverse, lacking power and discipline, and this is why they're pissed the fuck off, because they can't control you, because the sun has got you. You're protected. You are the sun. How the fuck are you supposed to shut the sun's light out? Impossible. Ten of Swords. Now, these people might have really tried to put a lot of a fucking burdens on you. Betrayals, abandonment, deceptions, anything you can fucking think of. This man has probably done and probably brought this woman into this, this um, situation. Always reverse the rules if you're a male. Put yourself where you belong. In order to really get one up on you so you can feel some kind of way. It's this narcissistic paradigm, okay? They want to pull you in so then they can degrade you some more. It's really toxic, okay? But you have really accepted what it was. And you escaped this ruin. You escaped this cycle. And you really pulled yourself together after the last one. And you said enough was enough. You learned a lesson. You weren't going to do this anymore. And you've seen the hardship for what it was. The Ten of Cups. It might have been family. It might have been somebody you you called your family. But it's in reverse. There was no emotional fulfillment. No stability. No structure. No discipline. No loyalty. No nothing. There was unhappiness. And because of that unhappiness, all it was going to be was a recycling energy. So you needed to dis and dismiss the energy so that this way you would sit with your own energy. You would see that that's your energy. That's not the energy around you. And you flip it around. So you watch number one and you see that the, the, the Empress is sitting in the upright. Somebody needs to detach from this um, very, very superficial, money-hungry kind of group, okay? Because there's a lot of unhappiness, dysfunctional families, broken homes. It's a group, okay? It doesn't have to be a family. It's a group. But they're stuck in some kind of devil toxic energies and they're in like this uh, mob mentality. They're trying to get one up on this empress, but they can't because this empress the fucking star. She's super creative. And she's a lone soldier and she rejuvenates. So every time somebody sends something to them, like me, I've been sleeping like crazy. Like I do my work. I help with my clients and whatever, whatever. But like the reason why I couldn't get with you earlier was because I fell asleep. I was so tired. I just woke up a little while ago. So that's why I'm all like just me, right? I'm fresh. Because I was sleeping. Like it, if my body tells me sleep, I sleep. It's really important. Somebody's really upset. It's all this spiritual warfare that I'm trying to, you know. So we need to rest because a lot of us are going through this. The lovers in reverse. There's a, there's a lot of disharmony. There was a lot of trust issues. This is why you bounced the fuck out. You said no because you know there was a disconnection and conflict and somebody was clearly. It was like somebody... Um, <laughs> 
They didn't want to give you a commitment, but they gave somebody else a commitment and are trying to hold on to you because of your energy and God said the fuck you will. Let's cut something off right here because somebody is lacking accountability for their situation and they're really trying to make sure that you don't go into a new chapter with this eight of uh, cups in reverse because they're fearing of moving on because they know when they you cut them off like energetically, spiritually, physically, whatever this is. Money wise, whatever this is, somebody is very, very greedy, whether it's energy or money. They know that they're going to be done. Yeah, see the world. They're going to be done. End of cycles. It is what it is. Somebody is about to see the world. There's a sense of belonging here and wholeness. You know who you are. And you take full accountability for everything. Savage, yes. <laughs> Because you know these bitches or guys are just emotionally unstable. And they're going to continuously try to drag you into their nonsense because they can't get their fucking shit straight. Ten of Cups. Their cup is empty. So they're never going to give properly and they're never going to understand. And they're going to hear the words that are coming out your motherfucking mouth until they grow the fuck up. It is what it is. They're just on a lower vibration and you ain't resonating at that level. So they ain't going to hear you because you're way the fuck here. So imagine it's like a little voice. It is just so Nah, man, you don't play that no fucking games. They either got to raise their vibrations or stay the fuck down there. Because you're the fucking hierophant. So you have morals, integrity, you know? It's not about religion, guys. It's about actual fucking heart, all right? Standing up for the, having loyalty. Treating others like you would really want to motherfucking be treated. Because what you put out inevitably comes back. Remember, it's always about intentions. So that this way you can be a real leader. Really speak up for something that matters because there's a lot of um, imbalanced relationships, partnerships, people going in the wrong direction because of the fact that they are mentally unstable and they won't see that it was just because of the family. So a lot of the times we can't even be held accountable, just like our parents can't be held accountable, but we have to put it where it is and we have to say, listen, now the buck stops here and we do the healing. It is what it is, guys. A lot of generational issues need to be addressed. That's why we go into hermit mode. We sit with ourselves and then we love on ourselves. We write our letter to those demons, to ourselves and say, listen, I take accountability. I love who I am. I'm fine by myself. It's these motherfuckers in the external world trying to fucking fill up my head because at the end of the day, they're jealous of your power. Now, we have to balance out the energies, masculine or feminine. We need the light and we need the dark. So what we need to do is not be over with situations, not be aggressive too much. Now, it's about the stubbornness, guys, okay? Now, I can only speak for myself. I'm an Aquarius, so I could shut the fuck down real quick. You know what I mean? So I understand my shadow side, and I take accountability for it because I'm not perfect, and I don't want to be perfect. I have flaws, but I like my imperfections. It makes me fun. I'm spicy. <laughs> you know? So, <laughs> I, I, I entertain the shit out of myself. <laughs> so, I know the right person is going to enjoy my energy. Because, holy fuck, I enjoy my energy. Because, look. Look what, look what came out. It's a fucking empress. I enjoy my energy. Look, and it's the high priestess with the three of pentacle, uh, three of cups. Like I said, whoever's going to come into my energy is going to have a lot of fun. But the thing is, is you raise the vibrations, right? So if people aren't at your vibration, they end up vibrating out. And then they end up being insecure because they feel like there's something wrong with them. When really there is nothing wrong with them. It's just they're not ready for what you're holding, what you got. And that's fine. You know, sometimes you wait for some people. Sometimes they're just not worth waiting for. You get it? That's where you use your intuition and see what's going on and have compassion and love for yourself. So if people disrespected you, treated you unkind and degraded you in any kind of way and you loved on them unconditionally, then you turn all that love that you gave to those people that disrespected you and you use your intuition and say, okay, it's not. They're not. That's not real love. And you start giving it to yourself. You start nurturing your garden. You start paying attention to yourself. Never mind what everybody else is doing. Because inevitably what they're trying to do is hurt you. So that this way you can feel some kind of way about a situation. See it for what it is. Use your intuition. Understand that there is something underneath the veil that people aren't saying. And the truth is that somebody is very obsessed with you. This is why they're doing this. Because they know exactly who you are. And what you're about. 
and it brings a lot of uh, anxiety to your family because you you're you're the healer so everything they send to you over the years like if it, this is your family like family family at birth 2002 it's a mirror guys then they've seen this over the years of how the transformations happen with you and how you go from nothing to something every single time because you know how to transmute that darkness into light you are fertile Everything you touch turns to gold. You got that Midas touch, baby. The heart of the deck. And it's got somebody in this uh, hermit in reverse. They're refusing to look at themselves. So they're doing a lot of projecting instead of reflecting. And this is why they're stuck in this devil energy. Very codependent with this very money hungry woman. Trying to do magic. But... See, they're not single. They're doing it together, trying to do this magic and bring this injustice. But you have healed, let go of this burden and this betrayal and really fucking, you are the gift. And this family feels very, very burdened because everybody's seeing that they're very emotionally unstable. It's all devil. It's all codependencies. It's all because they were jealous of this empress. And this relationship, they were trying to hold on to them. They see male or female, it's irrelevant. They seen this empress in the upright, you, as a, a trophy, as an item, as a gift, as a something. And they really, you know, they knew that you, the sun, you were protected, that you had this blossoming abundance, that everything you did touch turns to gold. And they knew that you were having this celebration. So they were going to do whatever they could to block you for how many years it took this family. But now they can't because at the heart of the deck, you are wish fulfillment. You are getting wish fulfillment. Wish granted. Remember not to overindulge, guys, okay? Try to stay humble because we don't know when it's going to get taken away from us. There's a lot of people who are pissed the fuck off because of your new opportunities. And they're really gossiping and shit. But that's not your business, guys, because you're still getting new opportunities. So go forward, okay? Missed opportunities. Somebody can't manifest because they tried to take away your blessings. This is how that goes. Let's see what the ancestors got to say. It's time to have some empathy, okay, towards these people. Somebody's having a major breakthrough. And somebody sees that this emperor's been spying the whole fucking time on somebody. And somebody is like, you know, they're, they're, um, they're breaking. They're having a breakthrough, okay? Somebody is getting a major epiphany about this spying. Somebody is doing some introspection. Okay, because, yeah. Let's see what these uh, archangels have to say, okay? Spirit guides, thank you. It's the Four of Raphael, okay? The Four of Cups. So somebody, it says, seek out other possibilities. Look for magic in life. Beware of your own emotions. Somebody feels like they missed out. There's a lot of dwelling, okay? They might have been a little bit smug about a situation, you know? Now, Archangel Raphael is just like, stop dwelling and really turn around and take the fucking self-love. If you're waiting for somebody, they're not going to come. I'm not going to fucking blow smoke up your ass, guys. They're not going to come. They're sitting with some kind of toxicity and they're trying to block your blessings. So don't wait on them. Wait for some... For something better to come in. Because this person is fucking smug. You're having an epiphany that these people are spying, but they're not doing anything. You have an epiphany that somebody is infatuated with you, but all they're doing is spying. That's fucking creepy because they don't even say anything. Whatever. The Six of Raphael. Like I said, it's the Six of Cups, guys. It's somebody from your past. Spying. And not even saying anything, not even being honest about who they are. It says, embrace your inner child, new friends, and rekindled relationships, children and childhood. It's these family members. It's these people from the past. These people have who have done you wrong. They feel some kind of way about it. They're feeling very nostalgic because they remember who the fuck you are and what the fuck you chose to do for them without anything in return. And, well, they did you dirty and you chose to walk the fuck away because you got self-worth. 
Archangel Raphael is here definitely protecting your heart, okay? They want you to go in the right direction and continuously keep watering your garden. Never mind what everybody else is doing because these people from the past want you to feel nostalgic so that you will, you know, miss out or feel like you missed out, but you did it, okay? Something better is coming along and it's the world. You have the world in your hands. And it was the, in, the, in the bottom of the deck in my hands the whole time. You have something better to see, something bigger to see. But first, you have to end the cycles. When one door closes, another one opens, guys. So don't be scared to eliminate. So then this way we don't keep repressing, feeling that, you know, we're not good enough. <laughs> we are, we are enough. It says, a very happy ending, coming full cycle, spiritual growth and insight, okay? It's time to see the lessons in these, in these cycles. Learn from them. We need to go through these experiences so we can be grateful and we can really manifest with our heart. We're not going to manifest with anything else other than our heart. So let's see what else is going on because somebody is definitely having an epiphany and it's it's on these spies. Somebody wants to communicate, okay? There's definitely a message. It's that eight of wands is coming in. Fast-moving message about some kind of travel. The world is all about travel. It came out twice. Somebody's thinking about you, okay? They're in isolation. You're in isolation. They're thinking about this divine feminine, this empress. We already explained this. Somebody's obsessed with you, okay? And they're really... They're upset because they can't control you, okay? Because you are a divine feminine, or it could be a feminine in their thoughts and in isolation and wanting to message you about this person who's spying on you because they're having a breakthrough about something. Let's see what's going on here. Spiritually. Oh, thank you. Forming structure and solid foundation. Yeah, this divine feminine, you are forming structures, finding solid foundations and really looking at yourself. So that you can get unity, you can have transcendence, you can find partnership within yourself and inevitably you get that exter externally. Somebody is awakening and remembering. That's that epiphany, the breakthrough. Because somebody's been spying on this divine feminine for a long time and sees that somebody has been in isolation. Somebody wants to communicate something about travel. Because they're remembering something during a transcendence. Something's happening in the autumn time, okay? There's some kind of harvest happening. And you're getting guidance from the ancestors, from the spirit guides, okay? On how to move forward with this situation. Because somebody is really suffering when they think of the past. Okay, it's really a lack mentality. So somebody needs to get out of this past thinking that's causing them a lot of depression. They need to remember, awaken this internal connection that they have with themselves so that they can balance themselves out, masculine and feminine internally, because there is an imbalance. It's an over energy. Somebody is very weak minded and it's causing them a lack of control. And this is that comfort zone, guys. Somebody is stuck clinging to their south node, to their past. And this is what's the problem. It's the past is causing them a lot of suffering. They need to go towards some kind of solid foundation. But the solid foundation, they're avoiding it. And somebody has been putting... Wow. Okay. So somebody has been putting a lot of confusion, trying to make sure that these illusions... You know, the, the future slips out of their hands. The world slips out of their hands. And it's causing them to feel in a stalemate. To get this foundation, somebody needs to tap in and remember who the fuck they are. Because there's a lot of people spying and trying to inspect on you when they need to go internally and start inspecting on their motherfucking self. <laughs> you know Tasha is going to spill the tea and be honest, right? Because look, somebody needs to release and surrender to their motherfucking self and purge out that motherfucking darkness. I only just said it. Huh? And this is why I say what the fuck I say because I'm always lit. Yeah, air sign. Look, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Like I said, I could either speak the motherfucking truth or shit the fuck right down. <laughs> either way. 
<laughs> I'm honest with my shit. I'm honest with my light and I'm honest with my dark. You see? Rejection, loss, and fragmented. And this is why I know. Because of that rejection, I can shut down a lot, you know, and go into retreat. But I also understand that about myself. And this is why I learned to cope with these energies and really transmute them into light. Transmute them into my painting, into my art, into my... Um, my life in general to show the others that you can get out of this very very toxic um like you know it's like your world is in a bubble and everybody you know wants a piece of you you can get out of this but it's through communication so that this way you don't feel rejected you can surrender and release so you can be completely authentic to your core values you don't give a fuck what the fuck comes out your mouth because you know you hold accountability for everything yes i said it <laughs> yes i did <laughs> that's the kind of attitude you need to have guys you need to be in the present and you need to have the attitude of gratitude. Be grateful for you. Be grateful for the traumas and tribulations because they have made you the person that you are today. Very strong. Very independent. Not codependent like these toxic people. But they also need nurturing and compassion. So we have to understand that. We were like them before. But we chose to go inwards and do the work for ourselves. And inevitably we came out holding the, you know, the pitchfork or... The, the fire for the next person or should I say we held the bucket of water for the next person who is engulfed in the flames of hell to help them see how they can find the tools inside of themselves and get themselves out of these dark caves light that bitch up themselves and find nurture within yourself somebody needs to have the attitude of gratitude the fact that somebody cares about them so fucking much that they protect them on the outside and the inside while they're motherfucking doing some nasty ass shit. Somebody needs to do some self-reflecting. Because their higher their higher self wants to be activated. Your higher self wants to be activated. But you're going to have to do it with communication. This air sign, this higher self is being activated. Take it as it resonates, guys. The bottom of the deck. It's guarded and vulnerability. So somebody feels very vulnerable, okay? That's why they're being guarded. But it's... It's very important that we have um, express that it's okay to be vulnerable because that shows that we're human, okay? We're not perfect. I am not a machine, so I cry. I get upset, you know, I get sick, you know, I'm human, so I'm having human experiences. <sighs> Let's see what the hidden truth is, okay, guys? We have to give space for people to travel, to see the world. Because we're always going to end up having a happy ending. We just have to look at things in a different perspective, okay? Learn the lessons so that we can have a happy ending. Because it's all about spiritual growth. It says we need to let go of each other, okay? So somebody needs to let go of you. They're all up in your fucking energy, bouncing on top of all kinds of other people, but, you know, are fucking mad at you just sitting here all by yourself flourishing. Like, what the fuck? They need all kinds of people to... Yes, somebody needs somebody to let them go. It says, I can't stop thinking about you. But they're fucking obsessed. They know they need to let go. But they're obsessed and it says, I am becoming a better person. So this is a good thing, okay? So yes, as much as they're obsessed and you can't do anything about it and, you know, you could try to get them to stop fucking watching you all day long, it's not going to happen because they have free will. They're going to continuously keep doing magic on you, these stupid karmics, these... Men who are upset that they can't get into bed, which you are going to continuously keep saying some stupid shit because they're weak-minded and they have issues with themselves. There's nothing we can do, okay? We have to understand that these people inevitably will become better people just from watching you, even if they can't be with you and they're jealous of you. They're still going to be better people because of you. I'm starting to understand our connection. Yeah, now they're starting to see the connection that you have with people and how powerful you are, that you inevitably just being in the environment change people, change the environment. You are an alchemist, 1,000%. This is why you do keep 95% of your time by yourself, because you enjoy yourself. You are fucking awesome. You have fun by yourself, guys. You know exactly what 
somebody knew exactly what the fuck they were doing when they chose to fuck you over or dismiss you or do some spell work on you or bring people in to watch you and spy on you. You know, they knew exactly what the fuck was going on and it was only because you had solid foundation and they were jealous because they didn't. That's all that is. That's all that is. It's unfortunate. I love you unconditionally. Their unconditional love is real fucking jacked. It's real fucking fucked up. So maybe they want to check their fucking parents and smack those motherfuckers up because they clearly didn't teach them right. I'm going to fucking keep it real, guys. That's somebody's unconditional love. Somebody needs to get smacked and it looks like a mother or a father. Because at the heart of the deck, and this shouldn't even be in here. Somebody is spying. Spying. Spying, spying, spying. Yo, I don't fucking make it up. They're like all up in your business. And at the end of the day, they have so much to fucking hide in their fucking closet. So why are they on your business? Because all that's going to do is end up fucking spilling all their shit out in the middle of the fucking road. So somebody needs to be careful because somebody is getting some bad news. They're disappointed with the fuck they're seeing. I'm going to keep it real. Somebody's a player player and they're trying to fucking play you and ain't nobody, no, nobody's playing no games. The only person that's playing is them and they're playing their fucking self because the devil's there and this family is it's corrupt. So it says, I hope you forgive me one day. Forgiveness is for you, not for them. So you probably already forgave these tra trailer trash kind of energies. Okay. I can't stop thinking about you. Somebody is just completely obsessed, completely sick in the mind, and they're not going to stop. There's nothing you can do about it, but you would hope that and pray for them and hope that they're going to change, okay? Because their unconditional love is real fucked up. Real, real fucked up. Yeah, it's this devil, look. They are so obsessed with you, they are so nosy, they are so codependent, and they're all attached to each other, so it's like, ugh, <laughs> it's not, not anything Tasha wants to be fucking with, that's for sure. No, Tasha likes to keep my energy clean, physically, mentally, and uh, spiritually, emotionally, all that shit, man. I got no shame. No shame. This is why. Time to embrace your inner child, guys. Find new friends. You got a love offer coming in. Because somebody is seeking out another perspective and possibilities, okay? You got on my lap. Because these looking ass, spying ass motherfucking people, oh my god, they're really in the energy. They're really in the energy. They're spying, they're watching, they're seeing if you're getting a new love offer so they can come in and fucking do some kind of bullshit to it. Like... So that yeah, you feel left out and, oh my god, this is sad. It's the spring, guys. Because you they see that you have planted some new seeds and they're going to try to do whatever they possibly could to pull those fucking seeds right out the fucking ground. They don't realize that your roots are planted firmly in the motherfucking ground because you did the proper work. You didn't jump no steps you weren't worried about what other people were doing all you were worried about was doing what you needed to do and when you got the downloads spirit put the information in your motherfucking face and that's how you knew how about these things that's it that's all and somebody got this game all wrong all fucking wrong because somebody is a major transformation and teaching other peoples with the tools how to do the motherfucking transformation for the fucking self. To not feel stuck. To have this birthing. Okay, now we got a lot of cards here, okay? <sighs> so somebody is just a motherfucking looking at seeing uh, who's coming in in this spring to give you a love offer. Or how you've been loving on yourself so they can copy you. Uh, I don't fucking know. Who knows, guys? But somebody is definitely heartbroken and it's the emperor in reverse because they got some trailer trash energy next to them and they wish it was you. See, the cloud chaser. Somebody is an opportunist and they went towards somebody who had said they had all kinds of shit and they didn't have nothing to stand on. You took the lead. You paid attention to the signs and synchronicities. You've seen that people were cloud chasing and taking you for everything you had without even really acknowledging you giving you the credit where credit is due and you said the fuck with that this is why you're taking time for yourself you sleep when you want to sleep you eat when you want to eat you go out when you want to go out you do what you need to do you're on your fucking time now you ain't playing by nobody's rules and you definitely don't work for the mat 
And if you do work for the man, you're finding a way to f to cope and be by yourself in in a very very busy time schedule, okay? Because you see these clout chasers. You see that somebody fucking tried to copy you and your energies, watched you very, very, very closely, and then went and offered some kind of situation. <laughs> and now somebody is stuck with a the bum. They chose a bum over a boss. And the ancestors are laughing because, yo, they chose a queen in reverse over an empress in the upright. Like, that's just a motherfucking shame. And somebody needs to clear the karma. You cleared the karma for the, in these motherfucking hoes. Somebody needs to clean the karma from these whores. Because somebody's finding out about kids and how they weren't even theirs in the first place. Now that's a fucking ho, ho, ho. If I don't say so myself, I don't know what the fuck to say. But somebody needs to clear this trash. Take it to the garbage because there was clearly third party interference and somebody was trashy, trashy, trashy. And that's why the scandals came in somebody could be even an undercover brother or sister so they could just be fucking free ranging it all over the fucking town city wherever the fuck they are state somebody needs to get checked somebody is getting a download about this situation about how they clearly because they've been spying they've been watching they've been trying to put and feed the collective's energy with some kind of nonsense but everybody sees somebody really took the lead towards a bum they took the lead towards the bum, and you took the lead to get the downloads to say, fuck this, you knew scandal was approaching, and you got out just in fucking time. Because somebody was definitely on the devil's path, and is on the devil's path, and wants you to fucking conform to their nastiness. But you transformed this shit. You said the fuck you will, you turned from a, a crazy-ass caterpillar who almost died a couple times, you know, into a beautiful butterfly while these motherfuckers turned into moths, okay? There's a marriage here. Somebody chose the devil's path and went into some kind of marriage with a fucking bum. It is what it is. And this is why you said the piece the fuck out when you figured out the truth. When you found out the truth. Something happened in the summer. It's going to be a cold summer for somebody because somebody needs to get grounded. Somebody needs to get earth. Because these hoes are really being seen for what they are, who they are. And somebody is... <sighs> I don't know, somebody said they were pregnant, they weren't really pregnant, they were pregnant with somebody else, somebody seeing somebody's childhood issues, dug right into there and start fucking feeding on this, somebody needs to get the tools to see the truth to a situation, so that their summer can be warm, instead of this cold, isolated energy, somebody breadcrumbed a fucking empress, and now the empress is sitting basking in confidence, and people are getting burnt by that motherfucking sun that the, animal, that the empress is sitting under. And that's why the empress broke up with somebody because they knew that they were the fucking sun. The empress is the sun. And that's why they said done. You know, you want to, you, that's your choice. You choose that. I ain't fucking chasing nobody. You chose that. That's your life. Now, that's why somebody is very much in their headspace about you or the situation because you know that you tame people with love. And that you have true freedom. And that that was their choice. They have freedom too. And now they're upset with their choice because it was all sex and lust. They don't fucking make it up. That's why you broke up with somebody. You knew that they weren't fucking honest. They were stuck in a toxicity. Probably had sex addictions. See? Sex addictions. They're looking at your fucking dirty photos, guys. They see that you're super powerful and that you can fucking heal this criminal-like mindset. They want to come home. They see you home. Take it as a resume. Somebody is bringing in this message, guys, about this twin flamer that you had a soul ascension. Somebody is definitely bored with their life, guys. And that's why somebody catfished you because you were blessed. So they tried to take your life and break up your relationship and you rested. And this sex magic is being seen. And it was a dangerous fucking idea to do sex magic on a real empress with dirty photos. And wish a person was stuck. Because all that did was block you from this person for life. And you did that all because you were bored. And somebody said no to you. That's real fucked up. Because you just fucking now all you want to do is spin the block. And you ain't getting nowhere. Because you know somebody is home. But you can't get anywhere because somebody is an ascended master. Which means you have to raise your fucking vibrations if you even want to come close. Because it's all about self-love guys. Because somebody's got a divine bodyguard. Somebody from the past life. Protecting. 
and somebody's all up in their headspace because somebody knows that they're extremely fucking protected and can't get nothing through. You can't break this, Empress. She got structure. Somebody's idea of unconditional love's really fucked up. Show me uh, the high priestess of light. And you're healing the earth, guys. You have that power to give and receive love. It's time to be receptive. It's time to be honest. And it's time to be generous. Okay? And it says river of blessings, release constraints. It's time to let go of any kind of constraints. People may want to keep you binded and trapped, but you ain't trapped, guys. You have the guidance to go on this shamanic journey. You have a, look, you have a, um, you have a bigger purpose. You're attuning to your vision quest and you're illuminating the path for not just yourself, but others. This is why it's changing a lot of people. People are being a better person, even if, you know. They don't want to admit it. And it's because you set boundaries. You have a threshold of protection around you. And you're able to create, be innovative, and start really doing new things. This is why you have a lot of people spying on you, trying to doppelganger you, take your, your creations. This is why I don't show anybody what I create. Because for too, too long, there was people stealing my creations. So now I just, I keep it to myself. Forge, don't follow. Exactly, guys. This is what you are. You're a fucking starseed powerhouse, and you fucking forge the way. You set boundaries. You set the high bar because you have self-discipline. So your standards are really fucking high. So if people don't like you, people don't like you. That's fine. But you don't hold no judgments on them. You understand and put yourself in their foot, and you understand why they act like this. They clearly need to do some addressing on their own shit you don't need to address them that's not your business your business is with you you f you pave a new path be the leader you wish you had you don't give a fuck about nobody else you're giving a fuck about you unless they come okay the void there you need to see the bigger picture stop embrace winter cosmic womb it's time to come out a butterfly instead of a dirty old moth okay but like I said, you need both. We need these karmic energies around so we can fucking learn. And inevitably, they don't stay karmic, so we have to wish them well, okay? Inevitably, people do learn. Inevitably, Starkeeper, Cosmic Ancestors, Seed of Light, Staying Grounded. Exactly, it's time to just stay, to stay grounded. See how beautiful you really are at the heart of the deck. And fall into somebody's arms. It's time to let go. It's time to love. It's time to... Know that you are lovable. A lot of people have tried to block you while they're sitting in this trash ass energy. And it's because you didn't trust. Because you knew there were so many dark energies really trying to penetrate your aura and come into your energy to steal from you. That you completely blocked yourself off from sexual energies for a while. If you're somebody like me, it's been about a year. Okay? And it's because of that factor. It says, surrender, holding the opposites and extremes of life. There's some healing that just needs to be done, and it can't be done by yourself. So remember to collaborate with people, but you have to have healthy collaborations, okay? And um, if you're going to be sexually active, be sexually active with only one person, okay? Let's get the Tasha T messages, and then I'm going to close the reading for you guys, okay? Wow, that's way too many, Tasha. Okay, so this spring card, is the Scorpio, okay? Scorpio is talking about the death. So there needs to be major transformations, okay? Major decisions needing to be made. A lot of issues need to be healed when it comes to childhood. This is how we live is what makes us real, okay? We need, we are real. We need to be honest with what's going on because at the heart of the deck, it says, nothing can stop you, but you always remember that. And self-esteem means knowing you are the dream. You are the dream. You have the capability to do this, to understand that the reason why people are trying to do this so much to you year after year, after year, after year, after year, is because they know how fucking powerful you are. So look in the mirror, love on yourself because you are a fucking epic powerhouse. And this is why it's, it's happening. Let's get something from that. Um, for 
the subconscious. Okay, I just want one. Spirit guides, thank you. It says, how, how can I deepen my trust right now? <laughs> like I said, it was always just a trust issue, but not everybody is like that. There's 7 billion people in this world we need to trust. And yes, because of the fact that we might have trusted some very evil kind of people who fucked us over, we also have to remember that not everybody is like that. Okay? So, time to be open and fall into the arms of the opposite sex. Okay? Like I said, if you're going to be sexually active, be sexually active with only one person. You're not a whore if you're with your fucking man. Anyways, how can I deepen my trust right now? Okay? Trust, surrender. Let go of the wheel. You can trust. You can trust yourself. Trust fully in yourself so that you can deepen your trust in others. Trust creates safety. And when you feel safe, you feel unstoppable. Today's soul action. Let go and trust. Today, find your center in the chaos and be cautious with yourself so that you can deepen your trust in others. You need to be cautious. You just need to see for what it is. Understand that we're all dangerous. And sometimes when people are bored, they get idle hands and they do some fucked up shit and they don't think about it. But that doesn't mean we have to pay the consequences. Doesn't mean we have to follow suit. It, if anything, we live by our own way. We do the complete opposite. You gotta fill your time up with things that keep your hands busy so that this way your mouth doesn't run and spew out fucking diarrhea and shit against another person, okay? We need to raise the vibration so we can show everybody that you can level up. Stop breadcrumbing people who, you know, stop biting the hand that feeds you. Number 22, angel number, okay? Yeah, people need to learn to stop biting the hand that feeds them because then they get all, you know, salty from riding your way for so long and you decided to kick them off the fucking ride because they weren't, they weren't doing their job. You know, pioneer of mourning, number 22, disappointment, legacy, and lost love. You have been given emotional energies to another and may not be feeling let down, disappointed, or vulnerable. You are, uh, there is a confusion around you as to where things went wrong and what you love, you love completely. And when you put your all into a relationship, be assured that the issue is not with you. The timing of the union is just not quite right and something better will come along in your life and the anger and hurt will now seem a million miles away. Love will soon come into your life again and the negative energies and feelings that you now hold will disappear. The tide will is about to turn for you and you may not know at which stage you are at and what you need, but you are certainly know what you no longer require. Your vulnerability at this time is understandable, but do not let negative experiences hold you back. Remind yourself that you are a beautiful soul and you deserve better. Guys, you deserve better. Remember, idle hands is the devil's playground, so keep yourself busy. So then this way you're not stuck in this trash ass hamster wheel that other people want you in, okay? It's not your circus, not your clown, okay, get off the fucking roller coaster, okay, the elder's ruins, it says, horse, loyalty, and pilgrim, it's time to get off the motherfucking horse, or get on the horse, take it as it resonates, okay, it's time to tap into that loyalty, as I've been talking about, and one more. And then it says, wild ox, strength and courage. It's going to take a lot of courage to be this wild animal, to be authentic to your core values, to understand that we're not the same as everybody else, but everybody deserves to grow just like a garden. We're all in a garden. We don't know, you know, we're not here to degrade each other or to compete with in any kind of way. We're just here to see how beautiful each and every one of us are and to watch each other grow that's it that's all but the ego and the devil like energies inside of us that we've been taught over the years or that have been passed on through generations keep us suppressed so that all that we do is continuously feed 
the energetic cycle of trash. And this is what we want to get out of, the trash environment, okay? Because the last one is the day clarity and resolution. Revelation. It's time to see it. Get the clarity. The sun. The sun is seeing the truth of the situation. That a lot of people are just jealous. A lot of people are just fucking look of your strength. The sun is showing your strength in the upright of how powerful you truly are as this empress. And there's a lot of energies who are very stubborn, trying to keep you in this very suppressed, very binded energy. But they don't realize how dangerous you are because you accept light and the dark as one. And these people are trying to catfish you, but energy never lies, okay? So you can feel it. You know when somebody is lying or not. So I hope this helps. I hope it resonated. I hope you got what you needed from this. Please like, comment, and subscribe as you're leaving. <laughs> Thank you for the support, the comments, the subscriptions, the donations. I appreciate you guys. You have no idea. Okay, so don't forget if you want to know more personal reading, I'll put all the information at the bottom, okay? I love you. It's time to create something new. It's time to be innovative, and it's time to go forward. Have a good night. Bye.